So let's go ahead and solve this equation. This is 2 over x plus 3 over 4x is equal to 5. So we're going to be solving this equation here in just one second. But this type of equation, if you look at it, uh, what's interesting about this is that we have the variable, okay, these terms are down in the denominator, okay? So this would be in comparison to an equation like, say, 2x plus 3 fourths x is equal to 5, okay? This is a basic linear equation, right? And this type of equation is a rational equation, Okay, we'll solve this equation using one technique, and then we'll solve uh, this equation using another technique. Okay, so here, it, you know, you need to know how to deal with fractions, okay? When we talk about rational expressions, you need to know something about fractions, okay? Like, what's the lowest common denominator? How we add fractions? And, and if you think about it, how do we add two fractions? So if I have, like, two-sevenths plus one-third... Well, I can't add these two fractions because the denominators are different. You got to have the same denominator uh, in order to add um, two fractions. So here, if I'm looking at x and I have 4x, these are clearly not the same denominator. But how can I make these the same denominator? Well, pretty easy. I need to make this a 4x, right? All right. And so if I multiply this... Uh, denominator by 4, now I have 4x and 4x, but if I multiply this denominator by 4, I'm going to multiply this numerator by 4, okay? So I'm kind of rewriting this fraction 2x such that I have the same denominator. So that's a good route to go here. So 4x, uh, 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 2 is 8, and of course I have 3 over 4x here, and now I can simply go ahead and just add these uh, um, fractions here, or these rational expressions, rather. So same denominator, okay? So now I just add the numerators. Again, I'm, I'm assuming that you know how to work with basic fractions. So 8 plus 3 is 11, and that's going to be over 4x, okay? So now we have taken this equation down to this stage, 11 over 4x is equal to 5. Now, at this stage of the game, you need to recognize that what we're really kind of dealing with here is a proportion. So the best way to solve this type of equation is to use the cross product, okay? So 4x times 5, okay, you're, in other words, you're going this way, 4x times 5 is 20x, and 11 times 1 is 11, all right? So now, by using the cross product here, Okay, remember this is a like a proportion, all right? I can just kind of simplify this by using the cross product. I got 20x is equal to 11. And now to solve for x, I divide both sides of the equation by 20. And I have x is equal to 11 over 20. Okay, so this is one approach you can take to solve this uh, rational equation. Now, let's take a look at another approach here. And this one um, has to deal with clearing the fractions out. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to deal with these fractions. So I just want to go ahead and get rid of these fractions, rewrite this equation such it doesn't have fractions. And the way we can do that is if we can multiply this entire equation by the LCD, okay, the lowest common denominator. So this is a denominator. This is another denominator. And then 5, okay, over here is really 5 over 1. This is a denominator. So what's the lowest common denominator given x, 4x, and 1? Well, you need to know how to find the LCD of expressions where they have variables, where the denominators are variables. I actually have plenty of videos on this in my algebra playlist. You can check this out. But uh, this is 4x, okay? So 4x is the LCD. So if you multiply your entire equation by the LCD, you'll clear out the fractions, okay? So you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna get rid of the fractions right up uh, front, and I'm gonna multiply by the LCD. So let's go ahead and multiply each term, okay, of the equation by uh, the LCD, which is, of course, 4x in this example. So 4x times two over x, okay, what happens is the x's here cross cancel, so you're left with four times two, so that's eight, okay? So now like we have to go ahead and multiply this 4x. All right, let me get rid of this. All right, 4x times this 3 over 4x. The 4x is uh, cross-canceled, so you're just left with 3, okay? 
And then lastly, I have 4x, and I got to multiply that 4x times 5 here, and that's going to be 20x, okay? All right, so some of this algebra is kind of bothering you. Then obviously you want to brush up on your basic equation solving, the distributive property, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're with me so far, let's continue on. Okay, so now I just rewrote this equation, and I got rid of uh, the fractions. Now, by doing this, though, by multiplying both sides of the equation by a variable or something that has a variable in it, you can introduce something called extraneous roots or solutions, all right? You need to know this, very, very, very important. Meaning that, uh, just if you just think about what this word means, uh, extraneous or extra roots, means that when you go to solve this, your solution could be an extra solution. It may not be, the, in fact, the actual solution to the problem. So you have to solve or you have to substitute back in this solution into the original equation to see if in fact it checks out okay so this is a whole topic here extraneous roots you just need to know when you multiply both sides of the equation by something with a variable in it you can introduce you can introduce extraneous roots you just never know until you go to check but let's go ahead and continue with the problem so we have a plus 3 equals 20x now so a plus 3 is of course 11 and we have 11 over 20x. This should look a lot like this equation over here, right? 20x is equal to 11. So the left is equal to the right. The right is equal to the left. So I'll write this as 20x is equal to 11. So to solve for x, I divide both sides of the equation by 20. And I get the same solution. But over here, because I multiply both sides of the equation by a variable, I would want to, and it's still a good um, uh, measure to always substitute in, your solutions uh, into your original equation to uh, to check to see if that solution in fact uh, works. Okay, you got to know about extraneous solutions. But over here was a nice direct uh, path to, uh, to go. So we have x is equal to 11 over 20. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.